something isn't working. Clearly. So, we need to figure this out. Specifically so that you can keep me from having to run like a spooked scamp when melee fighters get too close. It's called a tactical retreat. I suppose. But seriously, I can't have you running around not knowing how to use a staff. Those ash spawn nearly killed both of us at least twice. I know. I can try, but my hands just aren't cooperating. Look, Cactus, I'm doing my best, but I was trained with a sword, not this thing. Who is that over there? Not someone I want to deal with. Hello, Guar. Well, the first thing you need to do is stop panicking. Staves are finicky and they don't like it when you panic. You have to be able to focus at least a little bit in order to cast with them. You're telling me to calm down. Uh... Maybe? Oh. Hello. Yeah. Ah, hello. Is that Guar attacking us too? A little bit. See, you're getting the hang of it. Just so long as you aren't trying to hold a shield at the same time. Are you alright? Oh yeah, just fine. This taking a sprig and claw to the everything, don't mind me. Huh. You might be able to sell that. Except I'm not, I'm not much of a hunter. I don't know how to skin that thing. Do you? Well, I would, but... Oh. Heh. <laughs> right. Sorry. Oh. We might have an ash storm today. Aye. Wind's coming right off Rip Mountain. Ugh. Hopefully it stays high enough up that we don't have to deal with the ash. So yes, you're frustrated. And rightfully so, I might add, but it's making you impatient. You'd be impatient too if you were in my boots. Well, and that's the other thing. It doesn't really make much sense for you to be in the front with just that shirt thing. It's an Akaton. And you're absolutely right. This is what I had available after my bone mold got smashed to bits. Ooh. They didn't get you a replacement set. It's a badge of the station. Or of a reaver, depending. I'm lucky mode let me keep my boots and gauntlets. Hmm. I see. So we'll need to get you some heavier armor, I think. Sure, it'll slow you down, but you're used to that, aren't you? Generally speaking, yes. And yes, we should. Not sure Glover has the materials, time, or patience to make armor for me, though. To say nothing of how long it would take for me to get used to it, adjust it. Glover? Glover Mallory. The blacksmith of Ravenrock. I suppose we could take a boat to Blacklight or Windhelm. Get off this rock for a while. Maybe get a full night's sleep without some fetcher mumbling in our ears. <laughs> uh, don't remind me. Actually... Before I forget, uh, do me a favor and never ask Master Neloth about... those things. What? Why? 
He tends to go off on rants about the things he could do with the power to control minds. Have you been sleeping? Luckily, not too badly. Seems I'm either too stubborn or too dense for that magic to work on me. Well, considering your talent with staves, I can't say as I'm surprised. I have no talent with staves. Exactly. So, what's the plan here? I figured we were off to Raven Rock to tell Moden about the undead horde, but... I changed my mind. The plan is to at least try to tell the Master of Tel Mithrim what we found in there. And see whether or not he's flayed the new steward yet. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion I know who's behind the ash spawn. Wasn't it General Carius? Well, yes. But also no. Why did I expect anything different? And we have to work on your staves. Look, what I need to work on isn't casting, it's just holding the damn things. Luckily, I can sort of punch. The gauntlets give me enough padding for that, but... By Azura, it's not exactly pleasant. We may be able to work on both. You can still use them, obviously. Hmm. Perhaps I can do an analysis of your meridians and see why you have such trouble activating magic items. What? A magical inspection of your casting bits. Your energy channels or magic veins, soul blood, however you want to think of it. Ah, and by all means. I don't think I've got a magical bone in my body, but if you think it'll help. Starting to wonder if strapping a sword to my arm is a viable option. <laughs> hmm. That gives me an idea, but I'm not sure what it is yet. And of course you have magic in you, everyone does. It's just a matter of training. Like art. Or music. I'm terrible with both, but I've heard they're similar. Well, if it's anything like a martial art, maybe I have some hope. That's the spirit, my rhetoric friend. Now, you wait out here while I go talk to the master. Alright, will do. I'll try not to get in anyone's way. Hmm. Just between you and me, I don't think you and Naloth will get along very well. I'll be back. I also don't know if you do know how to use this thing. Oh, hang on. Things I shouldn't wear around the Master of Telmithrin. Master, you promised to teach me a new conjuration spell. That was before you ruined that staff. Fix the staff, and I'll teach you the spell. Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. I'll fix it right away. Gods. I got this for you. Huh? It's nothing big, but I hope you like it. I want you to know I appreciate your friendship. My what now? That's unexpected. Uh... Thank you, Talvos. Right. Where is the new steward? Who knows? Where is that lazy steward of mine? Verona? Oh no, wait, she's dead. Drovas! Where is he? How is Drovas working out, by the way? The man makes a dreadful cup of Canus root tea. However, he seems to run the place well enough. Oh, were you fishing for a compliment, a sign of gratitude? Don't waste your time. Those things are for the weak and foolish. Hmm. Right. So, uh... I'm glad he's working out for you. There's a bit of a problem, it seems like. At least, I think there is. Uh, have you had any more problems around here? 
I've been having difficulties with my Hearthstone experiments. Have you heard of the Briar Hearts? Uh, I was actually thinking something else was the matter, but what about them, the Briar Hearts? They are fierce warriors of the Forsworn tribes. They actually remove their own hearts and replace them with large briar seeds. It puts their life sparks in direct connection to the natural forces. I need you to examine one of them. Just investigate as much as you can. I'm going to put this memory trace spell on you so you won't have to worry about taking notes. I doubt you could know what was important anyway. Right. A briar heart. Where exactly can I find a briar heart? The Forsworn live in the hills on the western edge of Skyrim. From there you're on your own. I'm given to understand that they are not difficult to find, if you gather my inference. Oh, alright. And what exactly do Briar Hearts have to do with Hearthstones? Well, I'm hoping to do something similar. If I could connect a living being to the forces of the Red Mountain, well, that would be formidable. I've done some experiments in this area, but, well, my test subjects are far too fragile. I'm hoping to learn some of the Briar Heart techniques, their methods. I would venture out myself, but long voyages are dangerous, and risks are precisely what people like you avoid. Right. All right. I will go look at a Briar Heart for you, Master Neloth. Have a good week. That's that, then. Excuse. Right. Forgot about that. Memory trace spell. Ooh, that means I have to watch what I say. Great. Just lovely. Okay. Where's Soul? So, we're off to Skyrim. Excuse me? Oh, yeah, I have a bit of an errand to run for the... Master of the house. Well, lead on then. But I am rather curious to know what has us going to Skyrim, and what part. The Reach. Are you at all familiar with Skyrim? Well, not really. <laughs> this should be fun then. Because neither am I. All I know is that we have to go to the western edge of Skyrim. Also known as about as far away from here as we can possibly get. He did that on purpose, didn't he? Oh, probably. Uh, actually I'm not sure. He did put a memory trace spell on me, though, so he can see what I'm up to and, uh, you know, take notes, I suppose. Oh. Suddenly I understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright. Back to Raven Rock. Try to keep up. I'm keeping up just fine. Hmm. Oh, I can do the scan of your meridians on the boat on the way over, I think. Ah, maybe we'll be able to commission someone some armor. While we're there. If we've got the coin for it. What, you don't? Well. We'll see. I don't know how much they charge in Skyrim. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, they've got the mounted soldiers out today. Aye, uh, they're probably expecting more ash spawn. Or more pirates, one of the two. Oh, you have a pirate problem? Oh yeah, you have a pirate problem. I'm not sure how I forgot about that. And we have to find the captain. Oh yeah, Modin. 
He should be around here somewhere. <laughs> Seems you've inherited a situation. Excuse me? What kind of situation could I possibly have inherited? Drovus Relvi owes me 1,000 septums. At least he did until you set him up with that Telvanni wizard. Now he's untouchable. The way I figure it, it's your fault he can't pay me. So I guess I'm going to have to collect it from you. You're a tax collector? Right. How about you take half? How about I don't? You don't scare me. Cactus? What? Tired of running? I knew you were weak. Now pay me. Or I could just kill you now. Do you know who you're talking to? Cactus, that's a bad idea. Take your best shot, Fetcher. But if you draw on me, the guards will put a bounty on your head, not mine. Or at least just scared him off. Mm hmm. Serves him. I don't intend to pay him one septum. We don't know why Drovus owed him a thousand septums. No, we don't. Frankly, I can't be bothered to care. Now, oh, there he is. Ah, excuse me. My husband Bendel feared visitors would shun Raven Rock. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Right. Captain Velith. What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? Well, General Carius is dead again. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Carius's exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. Well... Founder or not, he'll no longer send Ashspawn to come raise this place. I don't know why he would be. Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And you got rid of General Carius. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. Oh. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for your assistance. It's raised my men's spirits quite a bit. Well, good to know. You're not terribly, uh, upset about being let go? I'll deal with that when I get to it. For the moment, I'm just surviving. That's, I guess, prudent. Alright. To wherever the next port is. That'll cover our journey, at least. Might even cover your armor. We'll have to see. Oh, excuse me. If you need a ride back to the mainland, Jalen's the only way on this rock. Thank you. Jaland. Jaland? Seeking passage to Windhelm? Uh, sure. I I'm looking to get to Skyrim. If you've got the gold, I'm your captain. Here. Hopefully this should cover both of us. Get yourself settled then. Captain Gallen does the business around here. I'm just a ship's mate. Good to know. Well, this is a beautiful looking city, isn't it? Ah. The Northern Maiden is ship shape and ready to go. Let's get out of here before he chats our ears off. <laughs> I think I like your sense of humor. Yeah. Good. You're kind of stuck for it with, stuck with it for a while. So how do we want to do this, given the hour? Eh, I don't know. They've got carts around here somewhere. Uh, I suppose they must. Might be worthwhile to see if we can hire one. Hmm. Oh, did you figure out what was wrong with my, uh, meridians? Eh, not really. You're not practiced with them. Oh, and they're completely mangled. Which wasn't a surprise. 
I certainly wasn't. Wow. Gods. Dreary place. Given the hour, I suspect we won't be buying armor from anyone. Unless these kind folks are still set up. Well, we can certainly see. Excuse me. Look, you want it, I got it. What exactly do you have? Everything I've got on display, really. It's not much of a display. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. Right, well, thanks. Uh, have a good night. Safe travels. Right, so the reach is all the way on the other side of the province. I think she's talking to the guard. Uh, probably. Sorry about that, I got distracted. As I am wont to do. Gods, it's freezing up here. You would think it wouldn't be. It's south of soul slime, not north of it. Feels like we're in at Mora. It does a bit. The architecture doesn't help. Huh, someone's got a gua around here. Very nice. So what do you think? Sleep in the cart? Hmm. Yeah. Might as well. It's not gonna be a nice sleep, but I'm not exactly a stranger to all-nighters. Right. Good, sir. Need a ride? Uh, yes. If you could take both of us. Where do you want to go? Wherever is in the reach. We're kind of new, and I don't know where that is. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Alright, I'm trusting you. How much does it cost, Sarah? Uh, I don't think they do Sarah and Liz Sarah here. Fair enough. Ever been to Markarth? Some say it was built by the dwarves. I don't believe a word of it. So, how'd you sleep? Better than I have in weeks. I'm not sure what that says about me or about Solstheim right at the moment. Right. Any idea where we're going? Uh, no. Noloth didn't give me any instructions, he just said. Find a briar heart, wherever those are. Well, this should be fun. Okay, so while we're walking, go ahead and put your shield on and get out that staff. Now? Well, I'd rather talk about this now than when we are faced with whatever a briar heart is. It doesn't exactly sound friendly. Fair enough. Well. Eh. Alright. That's not bad. It's a little bit... interesting, but you'll get the hang of it. I'm sure. <laughs> and if not, you can always try switching the shield to the other hand. What? What? They don't make shields for right hands? 
Well, I mean... Uh-huh. You just have to hold it upside down, that's all. That could be awkward. Well, it could be awkward, or it could save your life. And mine. Don't think I'm just looking out for you here. I'm as selfish as a bastard as they come. You know, it strikes me that most people who call themselves selfish bastards aren't usually. Or at least not entirely. Eh, well... When you're raised in House Telvani, it does tend to leave you with certain messages. I don't know what's going on there. Eh, who knows? Nord business. You all right, Sol? Aye. Oh. I'm enjoying the noises. <laughs> You're enjoying the noises. Aye. Oh. This place doesn't sound like Sol's time. A lot warmer here than it was in... Who's this? You here for me? Ah, uh, No idea. Right. Where do we want to go? Let's go to Solitude. That seems appropriate. <laughs> what, because we're both a pair of... prickly loners? You said it, not me. <laughs> you didn't need to. I know my name is amusing, I try to wear it on my sleeve as much as I can. Sometimes it works. I know I complained about you being impatient, but can we pick it up a bit? What? I'm not a fan of just walking places. What, you don't like to stop and enjoy the scenery? Well, I don't like to move slowly when we might be surrounded by people who want to kill us. There's a difference. Fair enough. We probably should have stopped in that town and asked around to see what these Forsworn and Briar Hearts and whatnot are all about. Aye, that probably would have been the smart choice. I never claimed to be smart. <laughs> Great, well... This is going to be interesting then, isn't it? of this. That was terrifying. <laughs> what? Ah, look at that. Ooh, I wonder if that would fit over your, uh, thingy. My Akaton? That, that's the word. Akaton. Ah, uh, wonder if I could lift that. Probably not. 
but I will take the armor. Well, it actually fits, more or less. Hmm. The scarf doesn't. No, but this is a lot more comfortable. What is she wearing? Heh, <laughs> not a lot from the looks of things. Huh. Seems this was worn here. Well, yes, but we're looking for someone with a plant in their chest. None of them do, so it looks like we're going to have to move on. Good to know. I keep thinking I should pick up my helmet. And why don't you? Because I like being able to hear. That's fair enough. Right, we're headed toward Solitude. Alright. Or somewhere. Well, might as well keep heading that way. Solitude's got dogs, so... My thought is... We head toward the place with the dogs. Won't have to work so hard getting home. That's a fair assessment. So, you managed to actually make the staff work. Aye. Getting the hang of it? I hope so. I will admit, though, my hands get a little tired. Well, we'll build your strength back up, probably. I won't lie, it doesn't exactly look good in there. In where? In your... Your bits. Your, uh... You know. Look, I'm trying to find a way to express the idea without getting into the nitty gritty and magical... Yeah. I understand that most people wouldn't follow me if I start going off into... The, uh, you know, liminal deformation and whatnot. Liminal what? Exactly! You see my point. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? Gods. I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. What's wrong with you? I'm one of the afflicted. I'd have been dead from this plague a year ago if not for Periite's protection. Right. And where are you going? Hopefully not into town. Returning to High Rock. Our shepherd lost his way, and I fear Periite's wrath may consume those who remain with him. Kesh could tell you more. I just want out of Skyrim as quickly as possible. What? In the... Uh... That seems like a problem. Aye, doesn't it? Wait, you're not thinking... Not thinking what? You're not thinking of helping him, are you? Well, what I'm thinking of is my father telling me stories of the corpus and the blight and whatnot. Back in the Nerevarine's days. And I'm thinking I don't want to repeat. Yeah, that's actually... Yeah, that's a fair point. question is... Where's the Shrine of Periite? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Well, it was sort of coming from this direction. Oh, we're going up into the hills now, are we? 
I can see no way this will end poorly. Well, there's something up here. Glad my legs still work. Well, this is odd. Excuse me. Ah, a wanderer, yes. No, pilgrim, perhaps. You have come to commune with Periite, Taskmaster, and Blighted Lord, yes. Ah, uh, actually, no. I'm here to find a briar art, but. We did meet an afflicted on the road. Can you tell me more about Periite? He is the pus in the wound. Oh, proper ones curl their noses, but it's pus that drinks foul humors and restores the blood. I worship Periite, yes, because sometimes the world can only be cleansed by disease. Right. Nope, not going there. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, that's a uh... good plan, good plan. We're just going to move right along. Aye. About the blight. Oh, just go do it. Talk to the man. Ask to commune with Periite or whatever. I don't know, the Nerevarine got turned immortal, right? Something similar might happen to you. I don't know. You think I want to be stuck as a mortal with these hands? Fair point. You talk to him, I'll deal with my scales. Right. You sit here and uh, do whatever it is you're going to do. Thank you. I need some time to... You know take care of my horns and my feathers and my scales and whatnot. I'd prefer to do it in a steam vent or a mud bath or something, but alas. I'm not even going to question it. Argonians are strange. Alright, fine. Need something? May I commune with Periite? Not everyone has the stomach required to entreat, my lord. But Cash likes you, friend. There is a way Periite may speak to us who will take him in. If you wish to commune with him, we'll need the incense. Alright, incense I can do. Tell me about it. Yes, the incense. Fetch for me a death bell flower. One silver ingot, a flawless ruby, and some vampire dust. Then, I will show you how. Alright, well that's... good to know. A cactus. Ugh, what? Are you done yet? I've... I've... barely... So it didn't, uh, go through then? No, we need to collect some, uh, materials for an incense. Oh, good. Alright, well, maybe we can find some of that while we're working on the briar heart thing. Aye, so we can get off this mountain without... ...rolling our ankles. Right, so what do we need for this incense? Death bell, vampire dust, a flawless ruby, and a silver ringgit. Ah, oh, that doesn't seem terribly difficult. One wouldn't think so. But, uh, guess we'll find out. That does get heavy after a while. Heh, <laughs> not a very long while. 
You try working with these hands and tell me what you think. If it's all the same to you, I'd rather not. Exactly. So, what happened to heading for solitude? I'm trying to find the road again. Alright, alright, no need to get prickly. That's my job. I like your sense of humor. Why, thank you. I honest to gods thought that was an ash hopper for a moment. <laughs> a misshapen and discolored one, maybe. Ah, trying to remember what kind of... Oh, what happened here? I don't know and I'm not sure I want to find out. Someone shot this lady. Shouldn't we pull her out or something? Aye. Ow. Sorry. Oh, I see them. No? What did you see? I can't be sure. I thought I saw more Forsworn up there. Or something. But it also sort of looks like an Imperial Patrol. Which probably means the road's up there. Oh, we're not going rock hopping again, are we? No, we'll try to find another way around. Oh, and there's the road. That's a relief. Still no briar hearts. I can practically smell Naloth's disappointment from here. You can smell his disappointment. Oh, yes. It reeks of Canis root tea. And old people. About what? The bear? He's not bothering anyone. Anymore. I think we've gotten turned around again. I think you might be right. The other way, then. How will we know when we found one? A Briarheart? I don't know. Look for some poor bastard with a thorn in his chest. The way Neloth talked about it, I suspect it'll be obvious when we found one. not exactly getting us anywhere, is it? Hmm. No, not really. Oi, over here!
Come on. Gods, look at him move. That's how you take down a bear. Ran out, did you? Well, no. <laughs> yes. I mean... Ah, it's nice to be swimming again, but... Gods. The way Neloth talked about it, I assumed this place would be crawling with Forsworn. Oh. Well, we can certainly try in there. After you. Careful. I'm being as careful as I can. That's your battle cry. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you for distracting him. Right. Were you, uh, recharging? I was. And you were letting me, which was quite helpful of you. I don't want to get involved with whatever that is. Mm -mm, me neither. You might want to be careful going through here. Hi. What's going on there? Eh, we can find out. You seem to be getting the hang of that staff. I am, but it's also getting heavy. Have you considered switching hands? That would require me... to readjust some things on the shield. Which I'll need time to do. Alright, fair enough. Wonder if that's a briar rod. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. Come on then. I'll make you pay. Ah, come on. Come, come and face the force sworn. All right. They've got magic. I know they do. That's the best you can do. So do I. Nice. Okay, move forward. Oh yeah, that's uh that's something. I'll make you pay. Yeah. Cactus. Well, this is ter terrible. I'm in a real hurry. Damn. Now we retreat.
Well, that's unfortunate. All right. That has no charge. Stagger him. I cannot best you. Uh. Oh, okay, well, hopefully Neloth gets a kick out of that one. You're on fire. Uh, yeah. That's a. Uh, that's just a dumb thing. Okay, good to know. Was that your briar heart? Oh, it sure was. It sure was. That was painful. You wear light armor. I do. Might be able to make better use of this than I would. Okay, what have you got? Goods. What? What are you looking at me like that for? I've just never paid much attention to an Argonian speaking before. Your... Your jaw gape is rather impressive. <laughs> is that your way of telling me I have a big mouth? Well, I wasn't thinking it. Oh, well. Huh. You're collecting books? What? You don't expect that from someone like me, would you? Well... No. You're getting better with that staff. I hope I am. It's out of charge. Ah... Are you sure this time? I'm pretty sure. Okay... So we'll need to find some soul gems, or another staff. Both of which could be... interesting. Aye. And I don't know how to use them. Hmm. So we'll have to teach you some enchanting so that you know how to... Do that. On the boat. On the boat. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs>